How does it feel to return to the Oscars? Oh, fabulous. It's always great. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, a couple of years ago we were here and somebody slapped somebody. So it was fascinating. Oh, you look surprised. You don't remember? I do remember, but you just reminded me. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Not only that, I just love seeing all these celebrities. I don't know most of them. Well, you know, we don't. People assume that we're all friends and all that. We're not. We don't know each other. So, uh, you know, if that happens and there's someone I love, I go over and introduce myself. I mean, I just got to meet that person. And, you know, I'm always kind of a little surprised when they, yes, I know who you are. And I think, wow. <laughs> Have you done that to anyone here yet tonight? Not, no, I've been too busy doing this tonight. But you can, you can imagine that I will be. You know, once we're in the audience, when they're doing a commercial, if I see someone I just love, I'm not above going over and introducing myself. And you have a new film coming out. What can you tell me about it? It's called The Prank, P-R-A-N-K, and it's about the world's meanest uh, woman. She's a snake. No joke. No joke. It's really, it's a cult movie. And she, I play this woman who is as mean as a snake. Fernanda will tell you. She's the high school teacher, literally, that everyone loves to hate and is scared to death of and fails everybody. Well, yes, she's the kind of, exactly, she's the kind of teacher who, when one person makes a mistake in class, the entire class has to pay for it. She's awful. I love doing it. <laughs> That's amazing. And you're no stranger to the Oscars. Where do you keep your Oscar? It's, uh, it's in my den. Not the living room. The den. Did you keep the envelope as well? No. Oh, boy, I wish I had known then. Who thinks? I mean, I really had no idea I was going to win. None, none, none. What's one memory you have from that night? Well, a funny story. Joan Crawford was the co-hostess. And uh, she was married at the time to a man who was Mr. Pepsi Cola. So she had a Pepsi cooler in her dressing room just off stage. And uh, in the cooler was also some vodka. And she was feeling no pain, let's just put it that way. And I got off the uh, stage and I started to cry and she started to hug me and wouldn't let me go because there was a photographer there. And she wouldn't let me go and she wouldn't let me go. And literally they had to pull me away from her because this was her one opportunity to be with a winner. Yeah, very odd. That's a wild story. For you, what is it like being here with your mom tonight on a night like this? It's absolutely thrilling, and I'm just so happy for her. Like, her career is a juggernaut at 92. I mean, and here she is, and here we are, and I'm, I'm very pleased, honored. Yeah. And look, look what I made. <laughs> I had a little help. I had a little help. But look, uh, isn't this? She's my date everywhere at all these big events. Now that I'm widowed... Fernanda is my date almost always. I love that so much. And one last question. You're presenting tonight. Can you share who you're presenting? No. <laughs> we can't wait to see. How's that? I'm not allowed to.